Hey Charles Angels, welcome back to Scripting with Charles and welcome to CSS. Yay! So what is CSS? CSS means Cascading Style Shift. Now, you could imagine CSS as the flesh on the human body or the human skeletal system or, you know, paint and the paint, the concrete of a beauty including the roofing. So that's what you could think about CSS. Essentially, CSS is the Picasso of HTML. CSS actually makes HTML looks good, gives it life, gives it color. And that's it. Um, so let's just deal with CSS now. Let's start with some text, the basic te text. We'll just say, we'll call this I am black by sorry, that's not black. I am black by default. So if we check that, check find it, click and bring that in. Okay, so you can see I am black by default. Now for if you want to style an element, there are different ways you could style it. You could style it in line, like you could style it inside here with an attribute. You could style it with an internal style sheet, and you could style it with an external style sheet. But we're gonna just start with an with inline styling. So to style this, we'll just say style and say equal to. Now we can give it the property. Let's start with this. Let's say color. So color would say red. So now it's going to move to as an I am red. So the color is going to be red. So now you can see it's red. For another property we could work with. If you want to add another, so style then property. Another property we could work with is background color. So we see the background color is let's say black. Um, so save C. So now the background color is black. So that's for inline styling. And usually you wouldn't want to style like this because the bigger your application would be, the more the styles would be. And it could just get, you know, it could get messy. Um, yeah. But, so what we would like to do is rather than having it in line we create an internal style sheet so what i mean by internal style sheet is we come here and then we say style all right now you could so before we go on let's remove this you see we're going to just remove it then i want to introduce you to 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 of course, we've talked about it before. We've talked about ID. It's called an identifier. Now, we're going to give, you could identify this tag. Okay, let's not even start with ID. Now, let's just let's just remove this first. Now, if you want to target this element, if you want to target this element, you could target it in different ways. Now, we could target it by the tag name. So it's a P tag. We just have one P tag inside. So if you say P, and then we have coil braces, and then you enter, then we say, uh, let's say color, and this time, let's say we want the color to be green, or let's say green, yellow, something that would, you know, I don't think I want green, yellow. Let's say, let's just say green, green. So if I refresh, you can see it's green. It's green. Now we are targeting by the tag name, by the tag. So it's by the tag name, and the tag name here is P. So if you have more P's, so if we copy and paste, if you have another P, and this one is whatever, let's just it doesn't matter. So if you have another P, it will target all P's. It will target no matter where it is. 
so far it is a p tag it's going to target that p tag but let's say you now you're like okay i don't want this to be let's say for example you don't want this to be green you want it to be red so you're like if i use the p tag every everything every p tag will be green so how do i go about that yeah i'm glad you asked <laughs> What we want to do next is you give it an ID and identifier, like I was mentioning, and then you say equals to, and you can give it whatever name you like. And as usual, you see me say this a lot. We'll say banana. So whenever you hear me say banana, just know that that name can be dynamic. I'm sure you get used to it right now. Okay, so now how do we get to this? Now we're saying, okay, we want. To target just this and we're giving it an identifier now we'll say pound so how do we target that so do hash or pound i don't know let's just say the hash sign then of course the color braces now we say color and then we say red and then we say if we refresh uh, what's going wrong oh sorry i didn't put banana so sorry banana save refresh now it's red you. And now, as you could see, we've been able to identify by ID. One important thing to note about this is that for IDs, you should use just one name, like one name for your document. Don't give multiple things the same ID. Just an ID. It's just an advice. So don't do like this. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. Don't do like this. If you want to give multiple elements the same attributes, so let's just duplicate this. If you want to give multiple elements the same attributes, it is advised that you use what we call a class. So based on the name, you could see a class is used to style a couple of elements, a class of elements. So ID is for an individual, just one. Class is for a group. So, how do we say class? So we just do class, and then we say river. It could be anything you want to name it. So, copy, paste it here, paste it here. So now, how do we identify what do we style this? How do we style this class? We say dot, followed by the name. So river, and then let's just say background color, aqua. Okay, so now everything in the class river would have a background color of aqua, as you can see. Now, which brings us a very important question. <clears throat> what happens when you have an ID and a class in the same place but you have the same property let's say for example you have um you, you give this a background color you give this a background color and you also give this this also has a background color you may begin to wonder which one will the browser pick you know you don't need to worry about that let me introduce you to what it's called the rule of specificity. So that's what we're going to talk about next. The rule of specificity. Yay. Okay. Now let's talk about rule of specificity. The rule of specificity is a is an algorithm that your browser uses to determine what CSS elements would apply when there is a clash. So if you have two um two three CSS um, properties with the same name having been applied on one particular element, it would, based on that algorithm, it would choose what is most important. So now we have, um, so now we have this P tag. This P tag has a background color of, let's say blue. And we have this pound banana which is also on the same p tag then we have it um, background color of let's say yellow now we have this this is already aqua now 
if we decide to put a style here which is inline style and then we decide to give it the background color and we say this time we want it to be green now what would happen in the rule of specificity is going to say that this inline takes the most priority whatever is the closest to the element just think of it like that we take the most priority so the inline style would take the most priority so it means that for this particular key tag despite the fact that it also has background color aqua background color yellow and background color blue what the browser will pick is green so let's say that in action we refresh as you can see it is green the next in line so let's just remove it the next in line would be the id the next in line will be the id that's the next most important will be the id so if we remove this inline style what we are expecting is that the background color becomes yellow so refresh the yellow is the next most important then obviously we have class so we have class so if we refresh we should see back to aqua and then if there is no class then it will take the p so that's how it ranks it so just put that in mind of course there are other things to consider um things like um what level the style sheet is, but you see that when we introduce multiple style sheets and making use of external style sheets. But for now, let's just deal with internal style sheets and move on. Okay, so if you want to override any, if you want to override, we know that the P tag, the, um, the P is the when it comes to the rule of specificity, styling it by the tag name is the least important. Now, if you want it to be the most important, all you have to do is put the exclamation mark and say important. Now, when we do that, the blue overrides every other thing, even the inline styling. So let's see. See, it's blue. So now every one is blue. So just put that in mind. Okay, now we have been able to tag, we have been able to style by the tag name, by, the, by ID, and by class. All right. The next way we could style is by what we, let's just, so after this, let's move to what we call selectors. And I'll see you in that. Previously, we had talked about selecting elements um, by ID, by class, and by the tag name. So those are like the normal selectors that we know. But now let's move on to other selectors known. Let's start with what we call the combinator selectors. Now, let's, so we'll start with the child selector. Now let's create, um, let's create, let's just create, okay, so now let's start with, of course, we know an ordered list. So let's do an ordered list. Uh, of course, we know that the li is a child of ul. Now, if we just say by potato, now okay my potato now if you you could style you could decide to style it by li and then um go on with what you want to do however if you want to be much more specific you could use the child selector so you say ul is then you how do we do a child selector, you use the greater than, then you say li, this, and now we're selecting any li that is the direct descendant, the direct child of ul. Now, so we say background, so let's just say color red, just save ourselves, press. Okay, so now if you see it, 
color it. Now remember, this could be, this could be, let's say for example, it's an IG, let's just I call this um, union. If we, if you replace it, it will still apply. So it's just essentially saying that whatever li is the direct child of this identifier of any tag name that has the identifier union that's what it means so remember the direct child the direct child so if for some reason we have something like another ul inside and then another li inside and um Okay, so now you remember this is this is what we did, and then we call this house hunting, and we save and we go back. You could see this house hunting isn't styled. Yes, it's an li, and yet it's a child of this ul. Yes, it's a child of this ul, but it's not a direct child. It's not a direct child. The direct child is this li and the ul. That's it. So, so that's what you should take note of when you are making use of this selector. It is the direct child. All right. So now let's talk about um, adjacent sibling selector. What are we, what do I mean? What do I mean? Now, so for the adjacent um, selector, sibling selector, we're talking about a. Okay. Let's let's double this. Okay, let me double this. Copy. Let's place this here. Uh, no, 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 nope, nope. Let's use this one. Okay, so you. So let's just call this house haunting. Let's just go again. Sorry. So let's just call this a bagging. Now for these, what we want to do is we want to style this particular one. We want to style this one let's give this one an id and we'll call it house and we'll call this house and now we're going to come here and then we'll say house and we're going to put plus that's what we're going to do plus and we'll say li so we'll give this one a color of yellow now this is what's going to happen so it's, oops, that is not visible enough. Let's say uh, yellow green. I think there's something like that. Green yellow. Okay, that's much more visible. Now you can see that the L this is styled. So what this means is that what this plus means is that style any li that is directly after this elements that's what it's basically saying that's what we mean by adjacent sibling that is directly after it that is directly after it that is directly after it so point so if i do this and i do this and i paste this again and i refresh you could see it's only this one that has the green yellow the others are just black so which brings me to the next selector, which is the sibling selector. The sibling selector is basically this squiggly line. And this squiggly line is this. So now this is the sibling selector. So anything that is the sibling selector, anything that any li that is a sibling, like uh, that, or any li that comes. Okay, what? Wait, wait. Let, let's let's back up a bit. When we mean sibling, it means that they are in the same parents. That's what I mean. Any that is the same that is in the same parent. Same thing with the plus. So if we do this, it is any uh, li that is a direct that is the next in line for inside the same parent. So they have to be the same parent. Just put that in mind. So now if we do this sibling selector and we save and we come back now we see that all of them all of them have the green yellow you see green yellow the green yellow color to it so that is the sibling selector so these are the selectors that i would love to focus in for now 
and next we will talk about pseudo selectors i love this one and i'm sure you will like it too so we'll see on that next yeah before we talk about pseudo selectors i would like to talk about one more one more selector um and that is the descendant selector you know previously we talked about the direct child so what if you know like now we said the direct child of this union should be color red so what if we don't want it to be uh, the color red let's say we want all all l eyes we want all the l eyes irrespective of whether it is the direct child or it's the grandchild or it's the great grandchild if we just want all li that are all that are descendants of this ul uh, or the or the union as it is all we have to do is okay let's duplicate this and copy and then paste it all i have to do is i just put a space so that is union space li and every child let's just put let's change it to background color so that nothing um, so we say background color let's say bisque so every li that is a descendant of this ul would have the background color bisque and as you can see they all have it which is different from if we did this if we just put this it's different all right another thing I would like us to take note of is the fact that we could have multiple select we could we could put we could select multiple items and or multiple tags and then apply the same CSS properties to it so in this case we had a situation where banana was color red and background color yellow let's say for some reason you want the LIs to also be um, color red and background color yellow. All you have to do is, let's just do this. Uh, let me remove all this. Mm, so if you look at that, now they're just plain black. So if we go back here, we could then do, we do a comma, and then we put the LI inside. So what this is saying is that if any um, elements with the ID banana and any li tag would have a color red a background color yellow so you can see so you, you could so you could have you could add more as you'd like all right 